There is no nutritional value in a McDonald's cheeseburger, but I would that I would argue there may be some emotional value. See, my grandmother was never a great cook, so on days when she took care of us, she'd pick us up in that boat of a Buick, and it was always a two cheeseburger meal and an ice cream. We'd head back along an all too familiar stretch of highway, heading to that pack rat's nest of an apartment, and watch terrible TV movies. My grandmother was anything but ordinary. She held a degree in nutrition it was the smartest dreamer I have ever met. She was our first example of half scientists, half artists, as she knew how to blend a nutritious smoothie while dancing the hula. Mm -hmm. As years rolled on, I started to see her scheming nature. She would always seem to find a way to convince us to come to a church at Christmas, but never pushed a religion upon us. The church played a large part in her life, and she only imparted on us the love she learned from God. The moment I got the call that my grandmother had a stroke, it shook me. She was 82 years old, but like any bad news, I never thought it would happen to her. She never smoked and only admitted to drinking Baileys to subside her fear of, her fear of flying like any cute grandmother. She would never admit her fear, but talk as if this was her way of flying with the angels. The moment my grandmother fell into a coma, her stories stopped entertaining our ears. We could do nothing but be a presence to her like what God had done for her for years. Scientists don't quite understand the level of consciousness when in a coma, and dreamers are forever speaking as if the sleeping are listening. While you lay there listening, I got the chance to actually tell you all of the things I could not admit to myself and all that I, all the love that I have for you. I've never been a religious man, but in that hospital room, you were my parishioner and I was speaking my penance. I still think about telling you stories of my first girlfriend, mm -hmm. adventures in Ottawa, and you, how you would be so proud you have a nurse, a chemist, and a firefighter to call grandchildren. The moment you passed away, I received another phone call to say goodbye. As I left your warmth, I drove an all too familiar stretch of highway home, but today I looked out. Human nature has us constantly focused on the gardens and not the flowers, so when I saw the unfamiliar clouds for the first time, I couldn't help but smile. I've never been a religious man, but in that moment, I understood what heaven might be like. It's the smell of McDonald's cheeseburgers <laughs> and an old Buick with my grandmother forever smiling in the front seat.